I'm Etheridge Grant. My friends call me Jim. I was the commanding officer of the USS William B. Preston on February 19, 1942, the day war came to the shores of Australia. I'm here to share my story and the stories of others from that fateful day when Darwin came under attack, right here where you are sitting. My ship, the Willie B, as we call her, was a seaplane tender. We escorted up to six Catalina seaplanes and patrolled the coastline, bays, and inlets in northern waters looking for signs of the enemy or suspicious activity. The Willie B was like a mothership to the Catalinas, enabling them to operate at sea by providing a base from which to refuel living quarters for the air crews, and shelter from the enemy. The Willie B had a standard crew of 125 men, but that number swelled in size when tendering the Catalinas, which had up to nine crew members each. this land from sea to sea. On every outback station and remote community, the flying doctor has no bounds for race or creed. Wonderful. It's the flying doctor. It's us. Most Australians live in heavily populated coastal regions clustered together in the safety of numbers, with first-class medical help only minutes away. But for the people of the outback, it can sometimes take hours, even days, to get treatment for themselves and their families. On the 19th of April, 1916, I penned a letter to the then Prime Minister, the Honourable William Hughes. I'll read you that letter.
chores. I told the people that as Australians, we must face our foes with fortitude and to remember no matter what the future was to be. You require at least five years of acute care postgraduate experience, hold an acute care certificate, have a current advanced life support certificate, and obviously not have a fear of flying. You have to be prepared to be a lone practitioner and also be able to work in a small team. It is a very rewarding career and has great job satisfaction.
here now. It was amazing. We got two VR, one on the Royal Dr. Frank series and one on Bombing with Darwin. We watched two holographic films and we got to go on this plane. I was a pilot. The platform was really good. It just like shook your body. Like once it shakes your body, you like then it would bomb. And when it bombed, something came on your legs. It was amazing. Yeah. So there was two screens, one on the platform and one on the wall, wasn't there? Yeah. It was amazing. We had a great time, didn't we? Yes. I want to get a VR set. Hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Bye.